Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video, I'm going to go over what you should do when dealing with toxic players and how you can make the game more enjoyable. I get asked all the time, what do I do with these players that are constantly criticizing, insulting, cursing at me? No matter what I do, they're always there. They're always making the game less enjoyable. We've actually been dealing with this. There are a lot of toxic players in one particular alliance in 1402 OZC, and we've been dealing with them now for a few months. So I'm going to go over some of the things that we've done just to make the game better for us. But before we get started, if you enjoy mobile gaming and strategy games like War and Order, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video with your friends. All right? Let's get started. So one part of me knows um, the people who send hate mails and post insults all over world chat are the people least likely to participate in events or achieve very much really in the game at all. They use world chat to feel special and I should just let them have their, their little thing. Um, I, I shouldn't, you know, act like I'm some victim or, you know, that uh, I'm, I'm truly hurt. I'm not. It's just a game. But <laughs> it's extremely hard not to be drawn into fights or to really, you know, after a while to let it get to you. You know, you see it all the time. Um, and if, if you let it, it really can just make the game harder to actually play. Um, for example, there's some posts that I've made that are basically, hey, good job, everybody. We did great against that other realm. And someone will have to post something like, you're horrible, you should quit, or something like that. After I've really just spent 14 hours doing Void, to help our realm um, win the event. Um, and and they're, they're actual players. They're not from the other realm. They're from my realm. They benefited from me, but then they go straight to chat because I'm not in their alliance and they insult me like they always do. Again, I, it doesn't affect me that much. I, I hate to see it all the time, but I, I can deal with it. But how do I do it, right? How, how do I deal with them? So first, a disclaimer, if what is happening is extreme, if it's extremely graphic, even if they intentionally go around the language filter, or if they go, and, and this is especially the case, if they go outside the game and they're threatening violence or you know something in real life, stop, take screenshots, and contact support. And, and here's how you actually would do that. Give support all the information you possibly can. And you can attach those screenshots in there and to your messages to support so that they can do something with it. If you don't report it, chances are this person's going to do it to someone else, right? And, and they're going to be affected by it. And you never know when things would bleed over to the real world. So, you know, take that in, into mind. But fortunately, most of the time, it's not as bad as that. In most cases, you know, even if it kind of bleeds over the line between game and real life, um, the first thing that you can do is just block them. It's easy to block someone in the game, and then world chat is suddenly a lot better. I've blocked here three to four people so far that really consistently insult and do it in a non-funny way. I love to talk trash. I grew up playing basketball. That's basically, you know, one of the most important skills you have in playing 
basketball, probably any sport really, is being able to talk a little bit of trash, but do it in a way that's not, it doesn't cross the line. You, you know the line and when it's been crossed. But when you block someone, don't forget them. Other people are still going to see their chat. Because you block them doesn't mean that your friends in, the, in your alliance aren't going to see that or in other alliances. Don't just block them and forget them. Thank goodness this is war and order. Lay some war and order on them. There are a few tactics that I like to do, but there are many different ways you can get revenge on them while keeping the chat light and happy and not stooping to their levels. And I'm going to have a whole other video just on being, you know, going evil to, to kind of save the, the realm. Just going off, no rules, just doing whatever you can to get rid of them, right? But here are the, the five things that you can do that will definitely make life a lot better for you and other people in your alliance. First, talk to their alliance leaders. Most good alliances will keep people like this out of their alliance. We're not that lucky with OZC. They say something about it being freedom of speech and you know that those people have a right to treat everybody else like trash and to insult and that's just the way that they play or whatever. All right, so whatever. That's that's the way that they, you know, kind of want to play. That's that's up to their alliance. All right, so number 2. Catch them with troops and SOS. This is the most obvious, the absolute mo most obvious way that you can actually get to them. Scout them with another account, watch them, SOS them at the right time to really ruin their day. Um, w one thing that you should always do, especially in a war realm, is scout. So you scout and send um, fake attacks. You should do it all the time, day, night, weekend, weekday, whatever. You always send scouts out. You do it all the time. You send fake attacks all the time. You want them to be getting notifications all the time, so much so that after a while, they kind of ignore it, and that's when you actually get them. All right, number three, go for their farms. Again, find them in the game. Find their farms in the game. Watch them. Look for those farms, and at the right moment, which is pretty much always, zero those farms. Take out their troops, their resources, and make their life generally unpleasant in the game. Use alternate accounts and rain them. And then have those alternate accounts farm their farms with the battle fog on. Um, this is a great way to both take out all their farms, but to also get some free kills when they make mistakes and attack your alternate account. You'll get some wounded, they'll get some lost players, and that's what you want. You want them, you know, when you're in PvP, when you're in war, you want them to act, take real losses. Even if you SOS someone and it says losses, they'll go to the sanctuary, and then they can replace them, and it's not that hard. But if they attack you and they lose troops, those troops are gone forever. They're going to have to make them from scratch. That's your goal here. All right, number four, give them negative titles. Work with your alliance and make sure when you do win the crown, those people always have a negative buff. Always. You know, they may laugh it off or whatever, but over time, that negative buff is a pain. So when they're in the mines, you know, that 8% or whatever of, of defense loss, um, is it adds up. It's a big deal. All right, so number five, as long as they keep it up, they haven't apologized or you haven't accepted that apology, keep the pressure on them. It's your right as a player in this game to play in a war way, right? To actually fight back. Don't take it to the chat. You know, if they send you hateful messages, reply with a smile, reply with something friendly. Don't get drawn in and start insulting. It's the worst thing you can do. You just get to their level. Let them be that way, right? You fight them with the tools that you have in the game. Um, you make their lives in the game difficult without saying anything negative. It actually will annoy them even more 
when you're positive and you're laughing and you're joking and you're not saying anything negative towards them, you're not insulting them, but you're beating the snot out of them. It's going to annoy them tremendously because they can't get to you. They have nothing left. All right. So I hope this helps. And, you know, let me know in the comments how you've dealt with the negative, the toxic, the, I hate to say the word bully because it's really overused, but that type of person that just kind of brings everybody down with their insults and their, their you know, just basic craziness in, in the game that, that they just try to ruin the fun for everybody else. How, is, how do you deal with it in your realm? How do you deal with it? How do you keep it out of your alliance? Right? That's not always easy. You know, you'll see someone with, you know, a, a ton of battle power. And maybe they're good in a lot of other ways. Maybe they have a lot of tech. But then they get into world chat and they just act like a fool. And not even a fool in a funny way. But they're being really extremely hateful and... When someone else does that and they're in your alliance, it reflects on you. It's going to go with you wherever you go. That interaction that you put up with in World Chat or in PMs or wherever else is a part of you. It's a part of your alliance. Don't be in those alliances. When there's someone doing that, you know, in World Chat, in your, you know, and they're in your alliance, you should find another alliance. You should not be a part of that anyway i can go on and on and on about this topic but i'm not so let me know in in the comments you know how you feel about it all right and with that take care guys <laughs>